news update. For InfoLive TV, this is David Oman. Israel Radio reported that the PLO Executive Committee will meet Saturday to discuss the Friday clashes between Hamas gunmen and Fatah supporters in the Gaza Strip, in which some 20 people were wounded. Hamas men dispersed by force a Fatah protest against Hamas rule in the Strip, firing in the air and beating demonstrators and journalists. PA Chairman Mahmoud Abbas reacted by saying Hamas had crossed all lines. EU foreign policy chief Javier Solana arrived on Saturday in Israel for meetings with Israeli and Palestinian Authority leaders, including Prime Minister Olmert and President Abbas, to discuss regional developments ahead of the planned November peace conference. Jordan's King Abdullah was optimistic on the planned peace conference and said it was an opportunity to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. A senior official at the U.S. State Department said that high-ranking Israeli military, political and diplomatic officials had warned the U.S. against invading Iraq in 2003 and attempted to convince the Bush administration that the main threat in the region was Iran and not Iraq, and if the U.S. were to stage an invasion and destabilize the region, it should invade Iran. A top official at the Russian embassy in Israel expressed disappointment and regret over the statements by top defense ministry official Amos Gilad on Thursday that Russia was partially responsible for the recent tensions between Syria and Israel and said they could damage the relations between Jerusalem and Moscow. On Friday, German Chancellor Angela Merkel was named the recipient of the highest award of German Jewry, the Leo Beck Prize, for her commitment to rapprochement between Jews and Gentiles and between Israel and Germany. Merkel is to receive the award in Berlin on November 6. Israel's national basketball team beat the Macedonian team 92-87 in Spain on Friday and advanced to the Eurobasket 2007 European Championships. Israel will begin the tournament with matches against current champion Greece, as well as Russia and Serbia. Today on InfoLive TV, the week that was, a selection of our top stories of this week. InfoLive.tv, live on your mobile phone. Do you want to keep ahead of the news and receive updates on what is happening in Israel? InfoLive.tv offers you a unique service, regular video news updates, free of charge, on your cell phone. To sign up, enter our website at www.infolive.tv and click on the mobile services banner. Today the whole world talks about Israel. But who broadcasts from Israel to the world in four languages? Live from Jerusalem, InfoLive TV, the first international Israeli television channel that operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Follow current events in Israel and the Middle East. Video features, interviews, news programs and news briefs live as history unfolds. If you want a direct link to Israel, access InfoLive.tv.